Troy Hazard. I'm an alien with extraordinary ability. Really? So really, yeah. so that's so it. That's exactly the, that's the title on my visa. Alien with extraordinary ability. Wow. <laughs> so there you go. Who approves that? Let's try to have a go at me now. Who did, come on, come on. Who did you pedal that to? <laughs> it's about the 7,000 people that are in this room that's going to make a difference to your life in the next couple of days. Because here's the deal. The smart guys aren't on stage. Give me a step off for a minute. <laughs> They're never on stage. The smart guys sit beside you. He just made a connection with the group that was so instantaneous. I reflected on the last couple of years of, of changes that we've made in the business as a result of coming to a function like this. And I, I, I went very quickly to a, a dark place because what I realised was that I got back from a number of these functions, I'd made a number of changes in the business, but none of them stuck. And you actually did that in your early days in business, oh, right? You had a very successful business, but you didn't really know how you got there. No, not at all. And that was, that was a real challenge for me because I woke up one day and we had four companies at the time and we're going okay and we're making a few dollars and I thought, well, how did I get here? I can't, I can't really tell, but it, it just kind of happened. And that, that was a big wake up for me to say, I've got to look further ahead if I'm really going to make this easy on myself because every day was Super Bowl. Been there, done that. You know, he's, uh, he's lived it. He's walked the walk. How does a business owner really create that? Is it a vision board? Is it, yeah. uh, what is the way that... That's a little bit too fluffy for me. Okay. I know that's going to upset a bunch of people, but it is to me. Create but a Pinterest board <laughs> with your, all of your vision. No, I'm just kidding. I think what happens is we create a business vision. We've got business plans and metrics and things to measure things by, but we don't match it to a personal vision. Like, why do you get up every day? Why do you do this? So I decided I was going to do this one-page plan on how I wanted to manage me to help with my personal vision. This was important to me because I figured if I could work this bit out, then the business plan should be easy because I would give the business plan some purpose. Succinct and to the point. The key is to look further into the future. How can you look down the track to 2015, 2020 and try and picture what you look like, what your business looks like that far down the track and start acting on some of those decisions today? Now this is challenging because most of us, unfortunately, live a lot of our lives down here because we get caught up on the treadmill of life and we go and go and go and go and go because we're driven by that. That's why you're here. You are here because you like being the best of the best and that's great. What I'd like you to look at in the next couple of days is how you're going to give that purpose. That's going to help with this whole person philosophy. Particularly when we have an economic shift and things are a little bit tough and you're working hard, you sometimes forget why you're on the treadmill. So it's important to go, well, what's important to me? Why am I doing this? And how's my business going to help me pay for those things in life that I think are going to be valuable or important to me? G give yourself some purpose. Yeah, great energy and very intuitive and kind of a deep thinker, which is it's nice. It's refreshing. And what are some of the things people need to know about that's going to be sustainable for their new business? Well, here's the big thing at the moment. Ever since 2000, 2008, everybody's been trying to avoid the next accident because it was such a hit for so many people. Mm -hmm. They're worried about whether it's going to come around again and, and the answer is it will. Stop trying to avoid the accident and start focusing on winning the race. He's so inspirational. He rocks for small business. What are we trying to anticipate to make sure we're successful no matter what? Well, if you've got vision in your business, then you'll start to anticipate what's going to happen to it based on the economic cycle and the business cycle you're in. But more importantly, what we're going to do is start anticipating what our customers want from us in business. It's consistent. They know it. It's coming. It's happening. That's just the way we do things around here. That is our DNA. Is it really connected for me on a personal level on the things that I need to change? Walk out of this room. Take those businesses business cards, have those conversations, write that plan, find those 30 minutes and make a commitment to make a change with the fantastic information you are about to receive at this year's annual meeting. Thanks for sharing half an hour of your life with me. Well, we made it through the hour, didn't break any furniture. I wonder, is there any of those little you know, big biz fluffy towels I get for doing this or, you know, a cap or a t-shirt or something?